again, I know that you've come up against this, and I've certainly come up against this, of, you know, being a woman, um, basically, that our value and our worth is basically associated on whether or not we have, our, with our mar marital status or whether or not we've procreated. Just, I guess we're in deep shit. I think okay. we're in deep <laughs> shit. <laughs> I, that's what I. That's what I thought. So I just wanted to <laughs> make sure that was the, the case. That I am. We are in fact in deep shit. Um, how did you react to that? Imagine, and I mean, now it's still what it is. But you know, in the '60s or in the '70s, as a woman who was basically fighting for women and our equality and rights, and then having that as a, as at the time when women are especially, we weren't necessarily seen as, vo as a voice, but more as a, you know, barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen. Well, I, I accepted it for a long time, and I thought that, I, okay, I'm getting married, I'm having children, I'm definitely doing that, just not right now. <laughs> would, you put, would you answer the question? Is that how you would say? Yeah, not no, right no. Now. yeah I'd say uh, I put it in the future. Mm. And, and then, fortunately, the women's movement came along and made me realize I was ha actually happy hello, you know, and that there were more ways to live than one.